Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect to your database running on your RDS instance inside an AWS EC2 instance. All right, so let's get started. See you in my AWS console. So now if you see for this demonstration, so I have created an EC2 instance from which inside which I'm going to connect to my RDS instance database. Okay, so this is my RDS instance. So I've created this one. So if you do not know how to create an RDS instance, so I would uh, recommend you to go and watch my previous video where I have shown you step by step. It is a 20 minute long video in which I've explained every single detail related to RDS instance. All right. So the engine that is currently running is MariaDB and this is in East US 1B. The size of this EC2 inst I mean RDS instance is db.t2.micro and the status is available. All right. So let me check for you need to have one important thing and that is endpoint and port so make sure that you allow port number 3306 in your ec2 instance as well as your um, you know rds instance okay so in my um, rds instance the, uh, the security group this is the security group i am using so inside this security group i have allowed this particular 3306 port number so without which we cannot able to log in so if you see i'm allowing my sql aurora the port range is 3306 okay so that's what i've done so now let me connect to this ec2 instance first and then later on let me connect to this rds instance from my ec2 instance okay so i'm going to use ec2 instance connect method i'm going to connect using ec2 instance connect so there is a prerequisite before you want to connect to your uh, database on your RDS instance, you need to install some softwares on your EC2 instance. So the first one is to install MariaDB server. So that is the engine that I'm currently running. So that is why I need to install MariaDB server on my EC2 instance and I'm going to enable and start MariaDB. So these are the things, these are the prerequisites because without which, we, if you do not have this server installed on your EC2 or for example, if you are trying to connect to the database from your local machine also, you need to have this uh, server installed on your um, uh, laptop, right? So in the same way, we need to go ahead and install this one. So I've already done this. So I've uh, run through this command and I've downloaded MariaDB server, enabled it and restarted it. Okay, so the username that I'm using inside the RDS instance is RDS user. So if you want, you can go and check that out. And this is the password that I've given, which is not at all secure. So I'd highly recommend you to use a proper password as this is just a demonstration. I'm going to use this password. Okay, and this is my RDS endpoint. So if you want to see what uh, in, in the console, so if you see, if you open this RDS instance under connectivity and security, you will have RDS endpoint and port. So I what I've done is I've copied this endpoint and pasted in my notepad. notepad. That is all I've done. Okay, so let me go to configuration. Okay, so if you see, I while creating itself, RDS will ask you if you want to, um, you know, create a new database. So I said yes, and I created a database called RDS DB. And you can also see the master username I'm using is RDS user. So that is what I've written here, RDS user. And the password for that user is this one. And this is my endpoint. Okay, so to connect to your RDS instance, you need to run this command. So this is just a simple command. So MySQL, all right, hyphen H, hyphen H for the host name. This is our host, RDS demo. You need to copy your endpoint from RDS and you need to paste it here. So in this placeholder, you need to place the RDS instance endpoint. Later on, hyphen P, capital P for mentioning the port number. Our port number is 3306. This is the default port for your uh, MySQL and Aurora. Okay, hyphen U, meaning what is the username? Our username is RDS user. So I'm mentioning RDS user. 
and again hyphen small p small letter p lower case p so it will prompt you for the password so you need to provide this password when it when after running this command it will prompt you for a password and you need to provide this password so let me copy this whole command and run this inside my ec2 instance okay so this is my ec2 instance i'm gonna become a super user i will say sudo su hyphen and now let me clear my screen and I'll, I'm going to paste that command that I copied. Okay. So now if you see, I'm running this command, I will hit enter. It is prompting me for a password. So I'm going to copy my password here. Admin one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me copy that and provide it here. So whatever you paste the password, it will not be appearing. So it will be, you know, behind the scenes, it will be entering. So if you just need to uh, enter it, just click on enter and you, you are inside MariaDB right now. See, so this, this is how you can uh, connect to your database or your um, MariaDB instance using EC2 instance. Okay. So now let us see. So uh, as you already saw, right? So I created a database called RDS DB. So let us verify if that is available or not. So to do that, there is a small query that you need to run show databases. So if you run this, it will display all the databases that are inside this Ma MariaDB instance. Okay. So if you see, so these are all the uh, default, um, you know, schemas that are getting created or the databases that are getting created. But this one, RDS TV, I created it while I was, you know, creating this RDS instance. So that is the one you are seeing here, right? So that confirms that we are inside the same RDS instance that we have created. All right. So this is how you can uh, connect to your RDS instance using EC2 instance. All right. So that's it for today's video. If you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Thank you.